Well, here we are in West St. Paul, Minnesota. A little check on the weather conditions. Nice and sunny day. And it is the middle of December and we do have some snow on the ground. It looks like it's gonna be a white Christmas, which is pretty usual for Minnesota. But it's supposed to be pretty warm today, so we'll see if some of that melts off. But I think either way, we're gonna wind up with a white Christmas this year. Well, hello, and welcome to day one. <laughs> Ground zero with zero subscribers and zero views so far. You have clicked on Tommy Travels the Second. <laughs> this is my second channel. My first one is called Tommy Travels, and that is a weekly show where I put out a new video every Saturday. We do an adventure at different museums and fun festivities and we go see what there is to see, <laughs> as I say on that channel. And I just want to talk a little bit about me and the purpose of this channel. And I'm going to do that by starting to talk about my other channel, Tommy Travels. Uh, I've always been a type of a person that needs a creative outlet. When I was in high school, I used to want to be a DJ. I thought I had a pretty good radio voice for that. And <laughs> that's what I wanted to do. But then as I got real about it, I realized I didn't want to spend a ton of money to wind up doing farm reports in Ottumwa, Iowa on a Sunday morning. So that wasn't going to work out. So I moved on to uh, wanting to be a stand-up comedian. And so I did a bunch of open stages and I would perform every week and I got some paid shows and hit kind of the pinnacle of that career when I got to perform with Louis Anderson on stage on his New Year's Eve concert. And I won a contest, he handed me $1,000 in cash out of his pocket and that was absolutely amazing. And then I started a job where I had to work evenings and it kind of got me out of the stand-up comedy circle and uh, I kind of got in a rut of sitting around at home doing not much and I thought I need a way to get out of the apartment and go do some things and so I started Tommy Travels and that got me out to different types of activities and I bring the viewer along with me and uh, the only issue with that is it's only once a week. It's hard to you know, go to different states and different locations when you also work a full-time job and so a uh, couple things, I, I, on that channel I pretty much I make the place that I go the star of the show. It's not all about, hey, here's me drinking a sip of Coke at this location here. Awesome, cool. <laughs> it's more about highlighting the location itself. And that's cool, but um, it doesn't give me a chance to connect very much with the viewer. And so I thought this would be a good way to do that put it in a daily format because in this format I don't have to travel all over the place to put out a video. And I really like uh, creating content. It's been a fun thing with YouTube. On my other channel, when I started that, I started promoting it heavily. I already created a Facebook and Instagram and uh, I promoted it heavy with my family and friends saying, hey, watch and subscribe to Tommy Travels. and. I um, spend a lot of time doing promotions for that. It is growing, but I think with this channel I'm going to do a little different. I'm not going to talk about it with my friends or family. I'm not really going to tell anybody about it. I'm just going to start doing a daily vlog. And I'm going to see who just magically happens to find it and <laughs> decides to keep up with it every single day. Or at least every once in a while. That was my, my fault it makes noises every once in a while because I don't always turn it off when I should. That's something I might learn to do in future episodes, so stay tuned. And so this isn't going to be a heavily edited channel. I mean, it's the holidays, so something might pop up just randomly out of nowhere like this. Deck the halls with boughs of holly la 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 Tis the season to be jolly la 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 But that won't be in every <laughs> every vlog thing or maybe it will be I don't know As far as themes and things like that uh, I'll probably have things that I want to talk about 
during uh, the daily episodes things going on or I might have a prepared topic to say like hey this I ran into on the internet and uh, let's talk about this or I might bring you along on one of my Tommy Travels adventures and give you some behind the scenes things on that so if you subscribe to this channel if you hit on it and you like it also go to Tommy Travels and subscribe to that channel because you'll get the full picture of what things are all about and I might mention some things on this channel that took place on the other channel so this way you'll be able to get access to both and I'm really looking forward to seeing where this goes and um, if you've got ideas for topics you'd like to discuss or things you'd like to know about feel free to comment below um, this is just going to be a short video here today because I'm just sort of putting myself out there and uh, we'll see what happens. So hit subscribe if, if you'd like to see where this goes. Leave a comment below. Any words of encouragement would, would be really nice. If you didn't like it, well, I didn't promote it and I didn't make you <laughs> click on it. So just move on to the next. And so there is one topic I do want to cover today just briefly. Since this is my very first episode of Tommy Travels, the second. <laughs> and it's just about the power of putting yourself out there. You know, no success story that I can think of ever starts off with, well, I was just sitting home watching Netflix and then all of a sudden I became rich and famous. Doesn't happen like that. It pretty much always starts with, and then I decided to do something. And whatever that something is may involve a risk, it may involve, you know, making an awkward video on YouTube and putting it out there for the world to see. It might involve starting a business or anything that your heart desires that you think you would like to do. That your soul says, hey, you should do this. Go for it. You know, if more people would get out of just the everyday routine of I have to work, I have to go home, I have to go to sleep, I have to get up and do it again tomorrow and start spending at least a little bit of time doing things that really makes them happy, you can wind up changing the world and inspiring other people to do the same things that you're doing. And I don't know where this channel is going to go, it's my very first one, but I just want to you know, leave with a little bit of inspiration as far as, you know what, I know there's out people out there who don't know where they want to go, don't know exactly what they want to do, but they've got a little inkling in there that says, it would be kind of cool if I could do this for a living. I, I have a friend, her name is Danielle, and she just floors me because she loves dancing. And one day I was talking with her and she just said, I think there should be a job where you can just make a living as a go-go dancer. You know, where you can go out to bars and they would hire you to come out and do dancing for bands and events and things like that. I said, well, that'd be cool. I'm not sure <laughs> if that exists. And so she made it exist. She started her own business doing just that. And it got pretty big. <laughs> and she had a lot of fun. And it really inspired people like me to say, hey, I kind of want to do this. And now I'm out here doing it. So, um, Danielle, if you happen to be watching this, I want to say thank you for your inspiration. And hopefully that will lead to me and this video inspiring others down the road. So that's my little message here for today. Also, if you've got ideas for how I should end these vlogs, leave a comment below because I'm not sure. On my other channel I say, and I hope to catch ya on the flip side and that goes into a montage of some of the things that happened during that week's adventure uh, there's a guy I follow Adam the woo he just says log over and then it ends <laughs> so I can't use that even though that's really cool there's another one named Jacob the carpetbagger who says and this one's in the bag <laughs> that's another really cool one so I can't use that and uh, if you've got an idea, let me know because I'm looking for something that's not too annoying that would 
work that I could use to <laughs> sign these things off. So until then, uh, leave a comment and we're just going to end this in a very awkward way today. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching.